Yeah, you can use it now. Oh. All right. So our main feature tonight. We got two more to wrap up. Yeah. So, so don't go away. After Paul, we have two more. So <coughs> without further ado, yeah, come on, let's do this. Let's go for it, Paul. Let's make some money. Yay! Paul and I like to kid around with each other because he used to be a uh, police officer. I was a firefighter, and there's always a we call it the guns and hoses thing. Um, <laughs> but I have a great deal of respect for Paul. Um, he's very successful. I mean, his wife worked very hard to build the brand that they have. And he offers mentoring as well. He's got co online courses. He's also uh, one of our sponsors. And I just want to bring that out to you that not only does he come here to speak tonight, but he also, he's not only a haircut president, but he's also a client. <laughs> so without further ado, Paul. Hello guys, how are you doing tonight? Great. Good. Great. Wow. <laughs> there might not be millionaires in here. Right? Nobody <laughs> excited tonight. You're right. You guys got to get excited about this stuff, okay? You're here, you're learning. I'm excited. I'm Paul with Flippin' Experts. If you don't know anything about me, we're going to have a blast. I love to learn. I love to share stuff. I love, love to learn from you guys. And we're just going to kick it off and jump right in. But before I do, I want to show you guys this video real quick. Oh, yeah. It's coming. <laughs> Okay, what do you want to do? We're going to move this live to the center for the hour. Hold on, hold on. Got a wholesaler calling me, man. Let's see if this is a good deal or not. What's up, wholesaler? You got a deal for me or what? I got you. Are you ready for this, man? I am ready. Awesome. What you got? All right, I got a house that is going for a quarter of what it's worth. <laughs> 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 and it's ready to go. You're about like $80,000 in profit here. Are you ready? Yeah, a wholesaler. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm on a job site right now. I can't get over there for a couple hours, though. Dude, I don't give a crap. Drop it, man. You're going to lose 80 k Come on. You're going to go now. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Where's it at? I'll take you to your trap, okay? All right. You're it's in good condition. Twenty-two thousand renovation. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> that was the roof on the ground. <laughs> so I show that I make light of it, right? It's funny, it's hilarious, but actually, that's some deals that people send us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. My name is Paul, flipping experts. I'm a cash buyer. I fix and flip properties. I also do rentals. I do commercial stuff. I wholesale some deals if I have too many deals on my plate. But <laughs> tonight, I wanna talk to you guys about how do you guys as wholesalers take a deal from being under contract and actually sell it to an investor, okay? How many of you think that could help you? Like you have a deal and, and you can sell it to somebody and make cash. Because how many of you know when you have a contract, that's nothing. It's still a piece of paper, right? Until you transfer that to make cash and make money and it goes in your bank account or you go spend it like we were talking about you have nothing you just have a contract well great you got a contract what are you, you going to do with it so i want to teach you that tonight i've spoken a couple times before and i talked about the front end of wholesaling and, and how do you find the arv how do you find this how do you do this so now i want to talk about the back end of wholesaling so tonight i want to make you all a promise right here you can hold me accountable to it but tonight this is my promise to you right here you're gonna walk out of this room knowing how to sell a deal to an investor like me. There's other investors in here. I see four or five of them in here. We all want you to succeed, right? Because if you succeed, what? We succeed, right? You make money as a wholesaler and you're like, woo! Man, I'm over here cheering 10 times harder because I, I got some money coming too as a fix and flip guy. And the realtor's cheering, right? She's like, woo, I got three to 6% coming my way. Inspectors, roofers. Woo, man, get another deal, Paul, get another deal. Everybody's cheering us on, right? But guess what, guys? A lot of these deals come from the wholesalers, okay? So I want to specifically talk about this tonight. You are going to know 100% without a shadow of a doubt how do you take that deal that you just got on a contract and sell it. And I'm going to tell you if it's garbage or not. It's tough to hear. Some of you guys have contracts. I was talking to another cash buyer tonight. He's like, Paul, these wholesalers, they just don't get it. I said, we're going to talk tonight. You know, I need to get my little chair. We're going to bring the family around. We're going to talk about how do we make this work for everybody? Because we all want you to be successful. We want to be successful. The cash, the guy who's got the cash that's lending it wants you to be successful so you can lend more money, right? So uh, a little bit about me, if you don't know, I'm going to go kind of quick through this because I have spoke a couple times and I know a lot of faces in here, but maybe you don't know anything about me. 
I was a United States Marine Corps. Okay, did that for a couple years, was overseas more than three quarters of my tours. Um, I came back, I was still excited. I still wanted to serve more. I love serving people. I love seeing people succeed. It doesn't matter if it's kids with no parents. It doesn't matter. We build, our company builds wheelchair ramps for handicapped people. Like any way we can give back, we want to. And when I came back from, from being overseas, I'm like, what's the next area I can serve in? I've always wanted to be a cop, because you know, we all watch cops growing up, let's be honest, you know. Got a gun, bad guy, he's gonna run, I'm gonna chase him, it's gonna be awesome. Like, as long as he doesn't turn around to shoot me in the face, we're good, like, it's gonna be fun. So I did that, and I started chasing bag. I worked Jacksonville. I worked the hood, man. I worked, I, I was the only white dude. Like, what's the guy, I remember this one time I had a foot chase off just north of Martin Luther King, it's Golf Airs right there. And, and I got a foot chase of this guy, and they're like, Give us a description. And you know, 90% of the time, the description's about the same. I'm like, dude, this was like six foot eight white dude, no shirt, no shoes. And it, we caught the guy, it was awesome. But listen, I, I did that for a long time. I loved it. I loved helping the community. I loved catching bad guys and putting them in jail. We weren't married then, so it's okay. I can say like a lot of this other stuff. Like, I love chasing people. Someone <laughs> shoot at me, I'm shooting. I got more bullets than they got. I got better training than they got. Like, I, I like lived for that stuff. But as time went on, it, it just, I was like, man, there's gotta be something more than this. I was making $36,800 as a trooper. That's it. And I'm talking, you're working shift work, meaning every 28 days, every month, one month I'm on day shift. The next month I'm on night shift. I don't get home till 11 o'clock at night. The next month I'm on midnight shift. I don't see my family for a month. And I'm like, this has gotta change. This isn't working. There's a lot more in me that wants to come out. Like I know I'm an entrepreneur. I know there's there's wealth out there just, just waiting for me to take my piece, right? And, and I couldn't figure it out. And I'm like, I start researching it. Just like they said, go to YouTube, go to whatever. And I'm like, how are most millionaires and billionaires making their money? How are they successful? How do they continue to grow wealth? Not just like wealth for them, but like generationally. And I'm like, real estate kept popping up. Real estate, real estate, real estate. And like Mark said, there's so many avenues of real estate that can pop up. You just gotta like, hey, what's your niche? I said, hey, I can do this. I sit in a patrol car for 40 hours a week. I can I act like I'm writing a report and I'm looking at properties. No, don't tell anybody that. But I was looking at property. I was doing my own thing. I said, hey, I can do this. And back then, they didn't have online courses. They didn't have training on YouTube. Like, it was very quiet, very elite. A lot of these bigger companies were buying up a lot of stuff. And it just wasn't really known yet. And I said, okay, there's got to be somebody in Jacksonville that's doing it. And I found this dude. He lived on the water, had the nice cars. I mean, just was doing deal after deal after deal. And I'm like, okay, he's where I want to be. So I'm going to go talk to him. And just like Mark said, I literally went to his office and I said, I want to work for you. He's like, I, I'm not paying you nothing, man. You don't know anything. I said, that's good because I'm free. It's crazy. I'm free for the next year. I got like 20 hours a week that I'm going to serve you. And his face, he just, it was funny. He's just like dumbfounded. I was like, no, no, look. Like, I will clean your dumpsters, I will take your trash out, I'll clean the toilets, like, I wanna sit in the office with you and I wanna learn what you're doing. You don't have to say anything to me directly, like, you can ignore me, and I'm just gonna <laughs> soak it up. And I did, and I sat there and I'm like, okay, okay, ooh, he shouldn't have done that. He did some shady stuff, I'm like, you know, come on, man, so I learned the good and the bad, but not everybody's perfect. So, I learned from him, and I said, hey, it's time for me to take action. And he sold me my very first deal, and it was like a sucker punch when I found out how much I actually paid for the deal. He, he wholesaled it to me for 17k. He made 17k on me. I'm like, dude, I've been serving you for a year. 17k, like, woo! He's like, the number still work for you? I was like, cool beans, man. I don't need to talk about it again. And dude, I did my first deal, and I'm cleaning windows. I'm doing it myself. I'm rehabbing it myself. And I was like, man, this is just too much work. I got a full time job. In order to make 50 grand, I have to work 16 hours a week of overtime to provide for my family. I'm missing his his football. I'm not home. I'm like, and now I'm trying to like do carpentry and all this other stuff. I'm like, I can have paintbrush. Like I know that I didn't go to, I don't mean trades crap, but I went there and I did it. I said, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to buy the house because it's going to force me to do something. Right? So I took an action step. I said, okay, it's going to force me to do something. Sure enough. I'm in there working my tail off. I sold the deal. I made like $27,000 cash okay. and I was like, I'm in the light bulb went off. I make that in six months, seven months as a trooper. I was like, I just, I can do that like that. I can do this, right? The momentum kicked in and I'm like, oh snap. That one was easy. I'm like, I'm gonna get two. And he's like, well, take your time, Paul. Just do one more. I'm like, no, I'm gonna get two. So I bought two. And then I did four. 
And then I started, I just momentum built, and I was like, oh, I gotta get another crew. So I had to build crews, and I didn't, I'd never done that before. I was a trooper, like, I don't report to really anybody. I go do my thing, and I see my sergeant, my lieutenant, I'm like, so I had to learn how to build teams. And nobody was ever showing me, so I just, I learned it. I did it the hard way, right? I made mistakes, whatever. And then it just kept growing, and growing, and growing. And I'm cranking deal after deal after deal after deal. And I look back and I'm like, how many, like, how many did I just do? And it was the momentum, is that very first deal. I'm telling you, when you wholesale your first deal, when you flip your first deal and you make, I don't care if it's five grand, you're gonna go, this makes sense now. I literally worked for somebody else for, for a month to make that 5K and I did a wholesale deal that took me 10 hours. Okay, that light, that light bulb will quicken, that momentum will pick up. So my, my mentor said, don't quit your job yet. Keep, keep your job until you're steady enough. I'm like, bro, man, I'm making 300 grand a year, bro. I'm renting limos on the weekends, you know? Like, what's up? He's like, get your, get your roots planted. Learn more. And thank God I did, 08 hits, boom. But I can't even tell you the stuff I've learned through 08 and everybody says, ouch. And I go, oh yeah. Because the wealthy get wealthier when the crash happens. And if you don't believe that, look at the wealthy. Every hedge fund I know that came out of California was buying in Florida. I mean, 50, 60 houses at a time at the bank and getting 30 cents on the dollar. Not 70, not 80 cents, 30 cents on the dollar. And they're renting them out. What What happens when market crashes? Rental prices go up, right? People lose their homes. They have to have a place to live. There's more demand. Rentals go up. So I learned that in 08. So I'm like, okay, I'm learning. I, I'm feeling this. I'm doing this. Okay. Now, if another crash comes, how do I protect myself? So I'm lining up all these different things in my mind. And where I'm at right now, guys, is I'm going to do 100 houses this year. Yes. Fix and flips. Like, I'm not asking. I'm doing 100 houses. So think about this. If you're a wholesaler, we're going to talk about wholesalers today. Let's say your average wholesale deal is five grand. It might be three, it might be two, it might be 12. It, it's not up to me. People ask me like, what do you pay your wholesalers? I'm like, I don't pay them anything. What do they pay themselves? Like, they don't work for me. How well can they negotiate? The deals they're looking for, what kind of spreads are they looking for? Like, it's, it's all on them, it's not on me. If I say I want this deal for 100 grand and you go get it for 80, you just made 20K. I told you I could buy it for 100, right? Right. So it just depends how well you can negotiate and do all these different things. So I'm here to tell you today, you can do this, okay? If I'm a jarhead and I was in Afghanistan for almost 28 months, you can do this. Like I enjoy people shooting at me. There's something wrong. My wife tells me all the time. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm just saying, go slow, but you have to step out. Mark's there, take a step, just do it. And it'll force you to move forward. So um, think about this. If I'm gonna buy a 100 houses, this year, that's two a week. What would it look like for you? Imagine in your brain, what would it look like for you if you wholesaled me all those deals? Mm -hmm. I, I, it's almost like church now, you hear? Mm -hmm. Okay, right, right, think about this. I'm not even playing with you right now. You guys have to get out of that, that poor dad mindset and into the wealth mindset because I'm buying 100 houses. I'm a cash buyer, there's other cash buyers in here. You can literally probably sell 500 houses in this room. But let's say you just sold me 100 at five grand a pop. And I average five because some are low or some are high, in the middle of five. That's half a million dollars as a wholesaler, just with me. That's not including the other guys in the room. Well, Paul, you know, that's just not realistic. Like two a week, you're just being silly. I'm doing them, okay? What if, what if you only did half? You did 50 quarter of a million dollars. I got people doing wholesale deals making 15, 20,000 because they've learned the skill and the craft. They know how to talk to people. They know how to talk to sellers. They know how to look for the right deals, right? With the right spreads. A quarter of a million dollars. Let's just do this. If you did 10, 50 grand. How many people's lives in here would be improved with 50 grand on top of what you're already making? I mean, my hand's up too. My wife just rose her hand. We're not getting any more horses. Like, she's like, I got my two horses. I got my couch. I can. I, I have this project I've been thinking about for about eight months, Paul. I haven't talked to you about it yet. I'm not playing. So think about your future. And I like to tell people this all the time. Don't look and think about your future right now. Act as if you're already in your future. So if your mind's already made up, like mine's already made up, I'm doing 100 houses. 
I don't care if nobody in here sells me a house, I'm still gonna do 100 houses. You're not gonna control my destiny, okay? I control my own destiny, you control your own, you control your own. Everybody in here, you're in charge of yourself. So, the future is bright, you guys just have to take a step. I see, some, me and Mark and Camille talk about all the time, we're like, hey, we see the same wholesalers in here, and every month, I haven't done a deal yet. Well, I had this, 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 that's the excuses, right? The poor dad, the excuses, and then you have that rich person saying, yeah, I just had a baby. Like, the guy, one of the guys I'm coaching is getting ready to sell a $600,000 house. Just had a baby, is a wife, full-time job, the whole nine yards. That he bought for like three something. I forget what the exact number was, 320 or something like that. Like, literally selling it this week for close to 600000 So you got to think about it and say, what's your excuse? Do I have the excuses mindset or do I have the mindset to say, how do I do it? Do I get up at 5 a.m.? Do I get up at 4 a.m.? I get off at five o'clock, I go home, do I work from six to eight every day? And put two hours a day times seven days a week, that's 14 hours a week, okay? So you have to just change your mindset. But guys, I'm telling you, the future is bright and you guys can do this. So get excited about your job, get excited about your career. If this is a side hustle for you, that's awesome. I made 300 grand a year as a side hustle. It's cool. And then when you get comfortable, you'll do it full time. And if you're a wholesaler, maybe in five years when you get that money saved up, you become a fix and flip guy. And you go from making ten or fifteen thousand or five thousand dollars a deal to sixty thousand dollars a deal, or you're thinking about the future, right? Hey, I, I was talking to one of the young guys here. He's like, "Hey, I, I need to pick up some rentals for long term." Cat's like twenty four years old. I wish I thought like that at twenty four years old. I need I need some rentals so I have some long term wealth. Like mm -hmm. instead of paying them off in thirty, I, I'll pay them off in fifteen. Or you think I should like let it go out thirty because the interest rates are so low? You know, I was thinking about twenty four. It wasn't that. <laughs> so guys, if you're young, you're way ahead of everybody in this room, pretty much. So. <laughs> Keep going out there and getting it. Um, what else? Where am I at? I get, I get fired up, man. So today I want to focus on the investor side of it. When you guys wholesale a deal, right? There's two customers. Would you guys agree with that? Two customers. What are they? Buyer and seller, right? So, so many wholesalers go into the wholesaling deal and they focus on the seller. Would you agree? Right? I gotta find a house, I gotta find a deal, I gotta get it under contract, I gotta get it for the right price. I don't even know how to negotiate this deal, but I'm gonna try. Awesome, I'm glad you're trying. And they never focus on the investor. So here's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna change your mindset because if you can't sell the deal you have to an investor, it doesn't matter. Okay? It just it it doesn't matter. You're gonna sit on that deal and you're gonna hold it. So you can make money wholesaling and you have to find your cash buyers. So the first thing I want to talk about is how do you find a cash buyer so you don't miss your sale, okay? The first thing, how do you find a cash buyer, okay? You have to locate them, right? Your job as a wholesaler is what? Find deals, find cash buyers, right? You bring them together, you sell contract, boom, you make money. That's the whole concept. It was just up on the slide before this. So how do you do it? For me, I wholesale deals too. So. For me, I, social media is one of my biggest things right now. Facebook, groups, oh my gosh. I just bought a house off Facebook group in Crawfordville, bought it, made like 50K, sold it, and had the highest comps of, the, of all of Crawfordville last year. Like, not new construction, obviously. And I didn't even know that, a realtor told me. She was like, do you know you have the highest comps for that, that area I've ever? I'm like, holy crap, well that's awesome. I always ask more than it's worth, because they're gonna negotiate me down anyway. This person took the whole thing. Okay, so, how do you find a cash buyer for your sale? So social media, I use it all the time. Last week I posted uh, Flippin' Experts is looking for a 16 unit apartment complex or bigger, send me your deals. Boom, 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 I've already looked at 14. Not even a week. Already in negotiations made my first cash offer on a million dollar property yesterday. Actually Saturday, okay? You have to get yourself out there. You have to network. You guys are awesome. You're all here, you wanna learn. You're networking right now in this room, okay? But don't, like he said, don't leave when it's over. Start talking to Harvard, start mingling. Hey, I saw you stand up, you're Airbnb. I handle Airbnb, let me help you out. Hey, you're a roofer. Hey, I got this issue. I don't know anything about roofs. Can I pay you? I don't even know if he does this, I'm just saying. If it's me, I'm going, hey, I'm gonna pay you 100 or $200. I'm gonna follow you around and while you inspect the roof. Hey, you're a home inspector. You won't even know I'm there. I'm just gonna be a creeper creeping behind you as you inspect this. I wanna see what you see and why you see it, and I'm gonna learn from you. That's all I did, that's all I did. Put yourself out there. So, 
Social media for me, Facebook, Tallahassee Wholesaler, Lake City Wholesaler, Florida Wholesaler, Florida Fix and Flip. I mean, literally, I'm on 20 plus sites right now, and when I go post my ad of what I'm looking for, Facebook pops up a down drop down box that says what? Do you want to post it on all these sites too? And I'm like, click, 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 <laughs> click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. They don't have a button that says select all. I, it's just so bad. I, I emailed Mark, but he doesn't, whatever. Bye, bye, bye. And I hit them all, boom, send. I just marketed what I'm looking for as a cash buyer. One site alone has over 50,000 people on it. 50,000 times that, let's just say they're 10,000. You're on 20 sites, that's 200,000 people saw what you're looking for. Boom, sold. Right? Like I said, I bought a, a deal from a wholesaler, never even saw the house he was selling. He put it under contract, he lives in Orlando, put it on the market on Facebook. I snagged it up within about seven minutes of seeing it. I live in Madison, guys. Madison, Florida? Yes. Holla, <laughs> see you soon. Breakfast, coffees. <laughs> All right. But guys, I saw the property. I already knew the area, right? Know the area you're buying and selling it. I knew the area. And I said, hey man, it's Friday at four. And I'm like, crap. I hit him up, he's, I see 407, I'm like, he's like, yeah man, I'm a wholesaler out, out, out of Orlando. Send me some pictures, man, send me the number, send me that. Man, I got nothing. I just put it under contract seven minutes ago. I said, what you want for it? Gave me his number, I was like, hi. <laughs> I was in my truck. She yelled at me, pulled out of the driveway so fast. I, like, my dog's scared. Everybody's horses are running. I'm like, baby, but Paul, it, you think it'll be there Monday? Heck no, it ain't gonna be there Monday. Drove all the way to Crawfordville, hour and 15 minutes. Saw the property, put it under contract 20 minutes later. He never saw it. He never looked at it. He never took a picture. He didn't have time. He just wanted to get it out there as fast as he could. Made over 10 grand. That fast. Okay? It's possible. So that's... For me, social media, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, what, however you want to get your resources, Facebook groups, I'm telling you, it's the way to go. I search those things every single day. They post houses for sale. Put the zip code in, boom. What's for sale pops up. Oh, I want to expand my search from 10 miles to 30 miles. Now I'm picking up Tallahassee and Crawfordville at the same time. Deals are popping up and you got to act fast, okay? So another area that I Google. So Google, we're talking about how do you find cash buyers? I'm sorry, I went off on a tangent about social media. <laughs> anyway, so Google, guys, Google and, and Craigslist for me, if you want to find a cash buyer, it's probably the easiest way to do it. Go to Craigslist, Tallahassee, I buy homes, we buy homes, I have cash, um, wholesaler, fix and flip. You type that in there and it's going to just drop, drop down of every cash buyer. Every cash buyer is going to pop up. I'm on there. And I try to refresh that sucker every day so I'm on the top. <laughs> so if somebody's scrolling it because they want to sell their house, right? Let me see what I can get for my house. I, I can't list on the MLS. The floor is caved in and tree fell on the roof. So let me, let me see if somebody will buy it. <laughs> Boom, there I am. Okay? So if you want to find cash buyers for your wholesale deals, guys, get on the marketplaces. Get on the social media. Get on Google and literally just type it in. Get on Craigslist. Type it in. And create yourself a buyer's list. Okay, so if you get a contract, how many people can you push it to? And unlimited. I'm sure it's limited somewhere. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but if you don't have a buyer's list, who are you pushing it to? Nobody. Okay. So I don't have a contract yet, Paul. That's the perfect time to buy your, to figure out your buyer's list, right? I go on there, cash buyer, cash buyer, cash buyer, name, email, phone number, name, email, phone number on Excel. I'm old school. Excel, name, email, phone number. And then I have a comment section. And I'll tell you about a comment section. I go in there and I call these cash buyers and I say, because a lot of cash buyers, guys, they don't just buy property to sell property too. A lot of people get confused. They're like, oh, you're a cash buyer. Well, I'm an investor, it doesn't really work for me. No, I call them, I'm like, what you got? You buy, you sell? Yeah, I do both. Me too, what you got? And I look at their deals as an investor, okay? So in my comment section, I'm like, I call them on the phone. Hey man. I'm a wholesaler out of Tallahassee. I see you're buying properties. What are you looking for? You just now took that from just having their name and email and, and blasting them something that they don't even know about. They don't even know you. To contacting them, customer service, right? Contacting them and, hey, 
my name's Paul. I'm, I'm in a Tallahassee. I, I'm a wholesaler. I do about 10 deals a year, and I, and I love to put you on my buyer's list, but that's okay. Yeah, please put me on your buyer's list. Okay, what can, what can I help you with? What, what's, what's your niche? What do you like to buy? And they will literally give you their buyer's criteria. If anybody in here has texts me at the end of a meeting and said, hey, Paul, I'm a wholesaler. Like, what, what, what are you looking for? What do you get? A text back about that long, it says, I buy this, 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 this. Here's what the zip codes are. Here's what I don't want. Please don't text me if it's this or this. Actually, I'm now looking for apartment complexes too. Look for this, this, and this. And I work these eight counties and two in South Georgia. Like, you're getting everything that I want. Why? Because I want to set you guys up for success because if you're successful, I'm successful. So build the cash buyers list right now. I'm telling you, you shouldn't have less than 50 people on that. Because think about it. If you have two or three people on it, and you get that contract that you've been waiting for, and it comes through, who are you gonna send it to? There's three people? Or do you wanna send it to 50 people and your chances just went out the roof? You wanna send it to the 50. So, networking events, just like this, okay? Other events too, guys, this isn't the only one. Like, I work all the way out to Lake City, my business partner's in Jacksonville, I work out to Pensacola, I work south all the way to Crawfordville, a little bit south of there. Like, I know, guy over here, man, he's in Newport Ritchie, he's in Ormond Beach, he's in Tampa, he's. Get, it doesn't matter, like build that list out right now. So when you have some, think about this. If he only buys two twos and two ones, and you're always buying three twos as a wholesaler, does he gonna buy anything from you? No, he doesn't, he doesn't want three twos. I only buy three two and bigger. I don't like three ones, they're pain in the butt. I don't wanna have to go to somebody's room to go to the bathroom. Neither does mama when she buys my house. So I do three two and above. If you're only buying wholesaling two twos and two ones, I'm no value to you. So in that comment section, that's what I'm writing. I'm writing beds, baths, how many square foot do they want? What area are they looking in? Hey, I'll do anything in Florida. Ding, ding, ding. I got me a good one. Anywhere in Florida you're willing to travel. You got crews on, I mean, I'm talking, he's like, I got crews on East Coast and West Coast. I'm like, he understands the game. One area might slow down, another area is cranking. But he's gonna hit his number. No one's gonna stop him, okay? Same way with me. So word of mouth is huge, is huge, especially if, Let's say you're only doing Tallahassee. It's huge. These realtors talk, these inspectors talk. Like if your work is good, you're gonna know about it. If it's not, they're gonna blackball you. Word of mouth for cash buyers is huge. I, I, like if you came to me tonight and say, hey, what are the cash buyers are there? I can name five of them. You just picked up six cash buyers off me just by having a conversation and asking a question. Word of mouth is, is the same way with realtors. Hey realtors, do you know any cash buyers that are looking for investment properties? I guarantee you they can give you five people. And that's just one realtor. So word of mouth is very important when you're talking about cash buyers and how do I get, all you're doing is, it's a funnel, right? The more streams I have coming into this funnel, the more cash buyers I can get, boom, I just need one. That's me and my business partner's motto, we just need one. I need one deal to hit, I need one buyer to buy, I need one wholesaler to come through. Because if I have one wholesaler and they only come through once a month, I just bought 12 more houses. Some people are like, well, it's just one wholesaler, blah, blah. I'm like, no, that, that, guy, that guy or that girl, they're very valuable, okay? So be thinking of it that way. The next one, I'm gonna give everybody their first cash buyer. My name is Paul. I'm addicted to buying houses at a good price. My information is right there. Write it down. If you're a wholesaler, you need to have my number. You need to be at the end of this meeting, have conversations with other people, other cash buyers, you need to get their name, you need to get their phone number. So now you're leaving, you came here tonight, maybe no cash buyers, you just left with one. And I guarantee you, I'm gonna continue through this, you're gonna know what number I buy at. You're gonna know what percentage I buy at. And if you hit that number, I'm gonna buy your deal. Now I would ask that you come to me first. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't be blasting that email blast. Give me about an hour. Give me an hour, look at it, you know, as friends. But you have to know your customer. What are they looking for? So what is your customer actually looking for? Ask your investor. Hey, everybody's different. I just talked about like if he buys certain areas, I have a investor that they love working in the projects. They love that, that's part of their ministry. They're like, hey, I love being able to go help people get their finances straight. I love being able, it doesn't scare me, it doesn't bother me. Um, <coughs> I, 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 this is what I do. Then you'll have other guys that they only buy like million dollar properties and above. But then you're gonna have an investor like me, I'm kind of like that 50,000 up to $400,000 range. Okay, I'm um, to get told to get out of the way, you wanna take a picture. Okay, so when I talk about diversify, diversify your cash buyers, okay? Diversify everything. 
as more streams that you can get coming in, the better. So I'll, I'll send you guys my cash buyers. If, I know you're trying to take a picture of it. Literally, my phone number's up there. If you text me tonight, you're gonna get one back with, with that plus a little bit more information. So my, my buyer criteria, three and one or larger, 1100 square foot or larger, 1974 or newer, crime area, A, A through C area, no high crime. My wife can't put headphones on, walk down the road and feel safe. Neither is that other lady that's gonna bring her two kids. That's my motto, okay? Other people, it's different. And I have a, a great friend that makes a ton of money. I, that's, for me, that's not my niche. Everybody, you have to know your niche, okay? No fire damage or heavy mold issues. That's me. Mold grows, man, I hate mold. I hate it with passion, okay? I focus on this, 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 and this. What does my net return need to be? It's okay to ask your, your cash buyers, like, what do you need to make on a deal? How much money, how much, what, what kind of return are you looking for? You know how many people I've had to ask me that, dude? Three. I'd apply two or 300 wholesaler. They're focusing on the wrong thing. You have to understand your cash buyer has all the answers. He's writing the check. He's the one turning paper into money, okay? So you have to ask them these questions. They don't mind. I t I'm, t I'm telling you, if somebody asks me that, I'm like, they know what they're doing. That wholesaler understands that customer service link, okay? So, how do you present your deal to an investor so they don't blow you off? I, I think Mark talked about this last, last month a little bit too. You kind of get one or two shots with an investor, right, before you blow it, okay? I give you my buyer's list, I give you my buying criteria, and then you don't abide by that. I buy three, two, and bigger, and you start sending me two, one. <coughs> Paul, you saw that video. Paul, you gotta go look at this, man. A, and, that, and guys, that's a joke. I'm never running out the door, okay? I'm always gonna run my numbers. I'm always gonna comp the house out. You send me something, I don't even drive a property until I know what it's worth, okay? And I'm like, you're a wholesaler, send me the pictures. Send me the video, you're at the house, you just got under contract, send me some information, help me out. So when I talk about how do you present it to the investor, guys, think about it like Christmas morning, a birthday morning, like it needs to be this beautiful little present, right? <laughs> it's all wrapped up, it's got a bow, it's got a little name thing on it, like, come get me cash buyer, you know? <laughs> that's how it needs to be, why? Because that's how you sell it faster to me, right? If you call me and I'm like, hey, listen, uh, you call me and I'm like, hey, okay, what's it worth, you know? I talked to this uh, realtor this one time, and she said my second cousin's mom, and she thinks probably like, I don't know, 200. <laughs> you don't know what a property's worth and you put it under contract, red flags all over the place. I'm gonna probably ask you one more question and we're probably not gonna talk again. Because if this is your industry, this is your business, you need to know it, okay? If you can't tell me what a home's worth, your number one priority, how much rehab is needed, like guys, that's, that's, that's like, two or three core things of a wholesaler is to give that information. So for me, I need to know what's your price? What are you selling it at, right? What's a wholesaler selling it for? Hey, I'm selling it for 100, 100 grand. You might not be under contract for 85 and you're making 15K and selling it to me for 100. If the numbers work, the numbers work, right? You just gotta make sure I have my spread in there. What's the ARV? You better be right, or at least close, okay? Don't be giving me 200 and it's worth like 164. I'm gonna call you out on it. I'm gonna say, send me your three comps. And then usually it's crickets, right? It's like, <laughs> am I in a better? No, because they're trying to figure it out, right? So you have to know that. What year is it built? Guys, you were just at the property. You put it under contract. How do you know that? When you wrap it in a little bow, I don't have to, I'm driving down the road, right? I don't have to <coughs> pull over. I don't have to pull up property appraiser. I don't need to look at the year. I don't need to look at, the lot size, you're gonna tell me. I don't need to know how many beds and baths, you're gonna tell me. I don't need to estimate a rehab. Well, Paul, you just don't understand. Like, I just don't know how to do that. Have you followed an inspector around? Have you asked to follow an inspector around? Let's start there, let's ask. Mm -hmm. If they say no, there's more than one. Have you, have, you, have you met with a contractor and say, hey, listen, here's my deal. I haven't done this before, but I'm gonna pay you $300 or $200 every single time you come out and help me out. I mean, you just had a guy tell you he'd come out for free to check your AC. That's the power of this roof, okay? How, what's, what's the age of the roof? Man, Paul, I just, you know, it, the shingle, like, if you, you know, it's kind of shiny a little bit. I, I think um, th there's like a patch, but it's, it looks like it's good. See you later, 
right? Guys, like, and I'm not asking you to like do anything crazy. Go to property appraiser and see when the last permit was pulled. 30 seconds, maybe a minute. If the internet's slow, I live in the country, so sometimes I'm like, <laughs> that's fine. That's all it takes. Or guess what, you're at the home. Hey, homeowner, how old's the roof? Hey, homeowner, homeowner, how old's the AC? Do you know you can go out and like run the serial numbers on the AC and find how old it is? In like a minute? I, I don't have time for that. Take a picture, do it at home. Yep. One more time. Company name? Or uh, website, I'm sorry. <laughs> a lot of you guys are writing that down to save yourself a whole bunch of money. I've seen some beautiful units. You're like, oh, that looks nice. It looks new. And I'm like, 14 years old. Holy smokes. They kept it up. <laughs> but guys, you can find this information out. You're a wholesaler. You want to bring that deal because now I go like this. AC AC's five years old. I'm like, just save five grand. Roof's two years old. Just save 12K. Keep going. AC's 20, uh, uh, hot water heater's 20 years old. 700 bucks. Let's go. Keep going. Huh? There you go. <laughs> so guys, it's just letting the investor know in his head how big of a rehab it is. So when you sit there and say, the roof's bad, the AC's bad, hot water heater's bad, there's a crack foundation, you're telling me it's a 20K rehab, I'm telling you you're smoking crack. <laughs> Take that part out, edit that part out. <laughs> but, but I'm serious, right? As an investor, we know what this stuff cost. So if you're giving me this information, even if you're not accurate on everything, in my mind, I'm already doing numbers in my head. I'm like, okay, roof, AC, this, this, how many square foot? Okay, how many squares of the roof? Okay, blah, 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 the AC, so three to four, to, what are we talking about? And, and, and I'm already calculating all the numbers in my head. So it's not hard. If you literally took this and put numbers next to it, wholesale price, 100 grand, ARB, 210, year built, 1974, and sent that, you're done. And then send pictures and videos. You're at the house already. Hey, Miss Jefferson, I'm just going to take some pictures. My, my business partner, just, he wants to see what we're, what we're getting. I'm excited too. <laughs> and you're just videoing. Boom. You send that to me, I can tell you usually within five minutes if I'm buying the house. Okay? I can also tell if you're off on the rehab. And I like these wholesalers that are like zooming at the wall. And, and they're like, oh. Oh. Uh, and I'm like, so what happened with that one? And it was like the roof was caved in or something. Okay? Don't, be, don't do shady work. We're going to find out anyway. So just tell us like it is. We love it like that. So know those numbers. Here's an example of one of my... Wholesaler brought this to me. Guys, wholesaler out of Georgia. So you wholesalers in Florida that live in Tallahassee that aren't wholesaling. Come on, man. I got somebody six hours away doing deals in Tallahassee. I want to buy them from you guys. I want to buy them out of this room. I want you guys to be successful. I want your families to make money. Not somebody in some other state, but guess what? You brought me the deal. Okay? Wholesale price. We started at 100 I got. I said, hey, go back. There's more room here. I already knew what he owed. He owed 64. I'm like, and he's an older guy, blah, blah, blah. Got it down to 75. I said, okay. Look it up. Can I have connects, baby? So I knew what he owed. And, and the other way is, hey, wholesaler, what do they own the property? Well, I don't know. Can you ask a homeowner? What's the worst they can say is I'm not telling you? Or half of them tell you. And now I'm not saying that's what they're going to sell it for. They might be like, hey, I only owe 50, but I want 100 because I need that 50 grand, whatever. It doesn't matter. And I, we got it to 75. I went back to him. I said, hey, I feel like we could squeeze a little bit more. And he's like, Paul, oh, come on, man. I just got it down to 30. I'm like, I know. Just, just go give it a little squeeze a little bit more. And I said, anything you get up below 75, I'll split with you. On top of your wholesale fee. You don't think that motivated that wholesaler? <laughs> Yeah, he come back like a day and a half later. <laughs> Paul, check your inbox. I'm like, just tell me on the phone. Come on, man. check my email. Drive me. He's like, 65. I'm like, boom. He's made another five grand by asking. So when people are like, how much you pay your wholesalers? I'm like, 
How hard do they want to do a deal? How hard are they going to have a conversation? How real can they be? How, I mean, this dude will sit on the phone for an hour and 15 minutes and talk to you about your mom and your cousin and what happened. And yeah, the mom moved away. She stole my money and I was, I was supposed to have it and she didn't get it and dad died. Uh, oh my gosh, I understand why you want to sell the home now. I just don't want to sell the home. <laughs> right, right? But wholesalers love that. Me, I ain't got that much you know, reserve in me. But that's why I love wholesalers. But that's why they get paid too, right? Love it. So this one, 1978, lot size, uh, Killarne Lakes house, rehab was 80K, I got it done for 58. But the wholesaler is like, hey, floors are unlevel. I'm like, okay, obviously structural underneath it, I need to get out there and look at it. Rotten wood, exterior siding. See all the old wood, the brown. Some of you guys actually went to this house with me. Yeah. Yes, there you go, another one, right? We went to the closing. They sat at the closing table with me. Yeah, you were with me. Go to the closing table, close on the deal, Hopped in the truck and I'm like, let's go do a renovation sheet and figure out what it's gonna cost. Where were you guys close on? What were your numbers at? You remember? Were you close? I was after. Gotcha. Yeah. What was yours, you know? Come on. No, because we, I didn't know what it was uh, for the foundation. Uh -huh. I was, that one was throwing me off. Yep. I wasn't sure what I was gonna have. There you go. Guys, got it done for, I think it was 58, I think I said. Um, but, but the guy told me this right off the bat. He's like, rotten wood. It's all siding, Paul. It's all that old T111. It's, it's all rotten. You got to rip it off. So I'm thinking, okay, what's behind it, right? Is there termites? If it's wet, if it's bad. So all these things, the investor's thinking that maybe as a wholesaler, you're not thinking about. Okay, you're just like, oh, it's rotten wood. Yeah, that's all you're seeing right now. Until so this guy comes out and rips it all off and goes, let me show you what's behind it, okay? Uh, needs everything interior. <laughs> so what was behind it? What's that? What was behind the siding? Bunch of rotten wood. Rotten yep, wood. I had to rip it out. I had to rip a deck off. I had to, but I knew that going in because when he sent me this, I already knew what I was getting into. So if he would have sent me a rehab number of like 40, I know what a kitchen cost. I'm in a kitchen for 14K, brand new kitchen. Like I could put math together very quickly because I do this every single day. Hey, roof's at 05. I mean, uh, AC's at 05. I'm like, Ugh. roof one year old, boom, saving money, right? And, and then he starts sending me pictures and videos, okay? I literally wrapped that deal up. The minute, I mean, I was gonna lock it up at 75. He told me 65. I mean, within minutes, we locked it up. He sent it over dot loop. I signed it. We we're done. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. So you said your price was 75. Yeah. And then he so we got it down from 100 to 75. For the house. For the house. But then you, he paid you 60. No. I mean, you paid him 65. We went back and negotiated even more. So he he went to the seller. <coughs> originally got down to 75 without me being involved. Okay. okay, came back to me and I said, hey, I think we can squeeze some more out of this. Like if we got okay. it for 65, it'd be an amazing deal okay. and I'll split it with you. Okay. So it just doesn't hurt to ask. Okay. He asked and the guy said, he bought it for a little bit. He said, okay, and boom, we're done. Okay, okay? Thank you. so then he started sending me pictures. He sent me video, which I, I could see the whole house. Yes. Sorry, but if you're doing a tool rehab, which kind of sounds like what you said. Yep. There is no average. I, I love these little formulas that ha people have, and, and I wish it was true. But there, there's no average because what if I'm just replacing plywood on the floor? That's bad, right? Oh, it's 42, and then I rip it up, and everything underneath is rotten. So there, there's no way to know without getting under it, inspecting it, and all that. And you still you still don't know 100%. That's why there's a risk in there. So there's no. Like bigger pockets might say, hey, if you do this and do this and do this, that's a general protect yourself. But if you don't get in there and dig into that rehab and look at it and get your inspector and crawl underneath it, a lot of people won't crawl under a house. I'll crawl under a house. I have no problem with that. I go home, take a shower. If I got to burn my clothes, 28 bucks, get a whole new set, not this set, my, my working set, 28 bucks, and, but I just might have saved myself $5,000. But I knew this was a full gut and I had found out because I kept asking questions and my wholesaler was really good. He said it failed three inspections. Which what? Motivates the seller. So I knew, that's why I said, let's go back and try another 10K. Three deals fell through. He'd been working on a deal for seven months. House across the street sold, value's mine at $222,000. Just, just, I literally, before you guys got here, was signing a rental lease for it. 1,600 bucks a month. I got 97,000 profit in that house. Do I pull it out and get hammered on taxes? Do I hold it for a year, save a little bit of money? 
and rent it out and make eighteen thousand dollars, three thousand taxes, clear fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars. You got this is all part of the deal. Like once you start getting into like you're gonna get into wholesaling and then you're gonna be like, ooh, this fix and flip thing is kinda cool. I'm gonna try one of these and oh, I need a rental. Like it, and it just starts it just starts growing and then your empire just starts growing. Right? You go from one thing to the X. So he sent me all that. It was awesome. We did the deal and uh, we both made money. He made money, I made money. So how do you know what price point your investor can buy at so you don't waste precious time? How many people in here had a deal under contract and nobody bought it off? It, it, the, the listing expired, the contract expired. What'd you, what'd you have listed? I don't know, he said it a long time ago and we ended up having to renovate it. Yeah, yeah, we kept that one, but it worked out well for us. So how do you know your end goal, your primary customers, where their mindset's at. You have to re-engineer re this, right? You have to say, okay, so what is, a lot of people go, buy, buy, seller, this, 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 get the property, this, this, and then I'm gonna worry about the investor. I like to re re rearrange that and say, talk to the investor first, how much money do they need to make? How much do they have holding money? We can go into that right now. Okay, for example, I'm gonna explain this to you a lot easier. ARV's 200,000. We know the rehab's 50, right? We know we're in it for 150, right off the bat, right? A lot of wholesalers kind of stop there. And they say, okay, so, well, I wanna make 5K. Um, if he makes 25, he should be good, so I'm gonna offer like 120, right? And they go and they make an offer of 120, 110, whatever, to the seller. Well, how did you come up with that offer? Well, I just, I, I figured if he made 20K, he's good. Or if he made 25K and I make five, he's good. So I wanna show you guys, what does an investor look at? A cash buyer that wants to buy your property, okay? They stop here, blah, blah. Holding cost. What are holding costs? If I'm borrowing money, it might be a line of credit, it might be from family, it might be from a hard money lender. Let's just say it's 10% holding cost, right? I don't have cash. I'm gonna borrow money from somebody else and go buy a deal. I gotta pay them back plus interest, right? So let's say it's 10% interest. 10% is really good, right? You were, what were you charging, 18? 18. And points, right? 18 and points. Let's just say it's an average 10%, no points. No big deal, okay? And let's say you held the property for six months, right? He buys it, renovates it, and sells it. You guys need to understand the process after you sell it, because it affects how you buy it, okay? so. That's 10 grand, just in holding cost for this investor, okay? So what's 10% of 200 grand? 20 grand. He held it for six months, not a full year, 10 grand, okay? He has taxes, he has insurance, right? If it's, it's $3,000 taxes per year or 4,000 or whatever it is, you can look it up again, property appraiser, look up what the prior year's taxes were. Insurance, this isn't regular homeowner's insurance, guys. Hey, I'm only paying $1,200 a month on my place at my house. Yeah, that's your primary residence. Get insurance on a vacant policy under renovation. Whew. Okay, a lot of wholesalers don't know that. So let's just say 5K, guys, these are rough numbers, okay? 5K. Then that guy or girl has to pay utilities, lawn care, housekeeping, maintenance, the whole time it sits, right? Somebody's out there mowing that grass every week in the state of Florida. 40, 50 bucks every week for six months, it adds up, okay? Let's just say 2K. Then he's got to list the property, okay? I pay two and a half percent. Some people pay three, some people pay the full six. I, I don't believe in paying six, I've never paid six. And I love, I'll show you guys a, a trick around that later. But I, if somebody brings me a buyer, I give them two and a half percent, okay? Hey, they're making their money. Realtor brings me the deal, that's 6K on this deal alone. That's only 3%. If you're paying six, double that, okay? And then you have closing cost. I held it for six months. There's closing cost, right? There's cost that you have to pay to close it. There's blah, blah, one to one and a half percent. Roughly three grand. So that's $26,000 that the wholesaler didn't think about, okay? So if I, if I take that 150 that it's worth after everything's done, and I subtract out $26,000, what am I left with? A lot less, right? But we're not done yet. 
the investor still hasn't even made a profit yet. That's just his cost for doing the deals, 26 grand. How does he get paid? He's gotta make a profit. So you have to ask your investor, hey, what kind, of, what kind of return are you looking for on your money? How does that work for you? Well, here's exactly how it works. I do this and do this and I pay this and, and I, I need to get paid 20% on the deal. Sounds great, thank you for letting me know that. 20% on 200 grand, $40,000, okay? What's the average flip profit? 60. So I'm just saying 40, I'm being conservative. So we take 40 out of it. What number are you down to? $84,000 max offer. That's without the wholesaler making money. So the wholesaler wants to make four grand. Now he needs to go to that seller at 80K. Max offer. What? I mean, I, I squeeze 10 grand out of that one person by having one conversation. The deals are out there. The problem is a lot of the wholesalers, they'll come in and they'll go in there and just, hey, it's worth this minus rehab and you know, there's, there's a profit, blah, blah, blah. But they don't understand what an investor has to pay to get the property fixed, flip, holding time, all that kind of stuff. It eats it up, okay? So if you guys know this, do you think you'll have a lot better idea of what deals you should mess around with and what deals you shouldn't? Mm -hmm. I, I, I have wholesalers send me deals. I'm like, quit messing with that thing. There ain't, there ain't no, Paul, I'm gonna do a lean two, reverse two, subject two, over the hill two, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know what half of that was, but like, is there any equity in the house? Paul, this lady, bless her soul. And I'm like, I'm not gonna pay for her mistakes or her spending her money or her getting a second on it or her, like, I'm sorry, there has to be equity in it and you're never gonna sell a deal to an investor if there's not equity. I'm telling you that right now. I'll buy one. He will. <laughs> Watch that guy. Okay? When, when most investors, they're gonna wanna walk into equity in a deal. I do. Even my rentals, I, get, I mean, people are shaking their head in this room. Yep, 100%. Why? Because we're at the peak of the market. Would we agree with that? So if I'm gonna spend $100 for $100 and it drops 10% next year, and I'm just talking flips, I'm talking wholesaling. Like if you're gonna hold it long term, that's different, obviously, a rental. <coughs> but if it drops 10% on 200 grand, I just lost 20 grand. So for me, for most cash buyers, I want equity built in because I'm flipping it. And even when I buy my rentals, guys, most of the rentals I buy are all from fix and flips because they have the best equity in it, the most money in it. So, um, where are we at next? My, my screen's getting shut on me. How, how, many, how many people in here is this helping you understand where the investor's coming from? Because I, I want you to be able to grasp and say, okay, I understand the seller side of it, but if you don't fig figure out the investor side of it first, you don't know what offer you're making to the seller. Like, I guarantee you that deal I just showed you, so many of you would have went and offered 120. Can we be honest? 110, 120K? Back in the day, I would have. I would have been like, man, there's 40 grand there if I offer 110. But you have to figure out how the investor fits into it. So for me, I always reverse it and say, Figure out what the investor wants, what his numbers are, and then that's how you go to the seller and say, hey, because once you say 120 to a seller, you ain't going down. Meaning I can't go back and say, hey, I screwed up. I'm at 82. <laughs> Get out of my house. Like, you, you, you smoke your crack right now. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. How is it that the investor doesn't go to the seller? He can. I do all the time. So you can skip the... Oh yeah. I mean, right now, probably half my deals I buy myself. There, to, I'm trying to say this the as nicest a, way possible. I wish there were more wholesalers that were experts in their field and knew their stuff and knew their craft and put the time and energy and studied because I don't want to do that other stuff. Okay. So, so to avoid that. I, I mean, I half my houses I buy, I buy myself. I drive down the road, I see a house, I'm knocking on the door, I'm talking to somebody. I got a couple wholesalers that work directly for me. I'm like, hey, here's the deal, here's the deal, here's the deal. And they, and they do all the work and they do all the conversations and I give them a cut. So what makes you go with a wholesaler versus basically Speed. show you this property? Speed. Okay. Speed is everything for me. Okay. I can't do 100 houses by two a week if there's no speed. <laughs> if I have to knock on every single door, I have to talk to every single person. I, I, me and my team, we can't, we can't turn volume like that. Yeah. So when there's volume involved, if I have five wholesalers sending me deals and they, 
two of them come through a month, I got a hundred houses. Okay. So they're gifted at this. Like my buddy, he will stay on the phone with people, and I'm like, I love you, bro. <laughs> and he's like, I got it done. I got. Oh, it started to fall through. I, I called her. Back. Paul, I drove to her house. It was an hour and a half away. What the? I got, it. <laughs> I got her to sign again. She was scared. Like they love that. That's their gifting. That's not mine. Okay. I know my stream. I know what I'm good at. I love crews. I love flip, 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 flipping houses. I. Like, that's my thing. Wholesalers, they're a different breed. They love it. They love the computer aspect. I got this, my, I got Mojo Dialer. I'm dialing three at a time. First one that picks up, hey, uh, I'm like, okay. I'll go on the phone like. <laughs> so, yes, you, you don't need a wholesaler. You can do it all yourself. And to me, it just slows me down. Okay? All right. So, do you guys understand that you can, a lot of, a lot of guys that I see, they want to just get a contract, even if it doesn't make sense. Or I have this deal and they'll spend a lot of time and energy on a deal and I'm like, it doesn't work. I don't care which way you do it, but I'll see, a, I'll see an investor, a wholesaler like three weeks later, four weeks later, still on the same deal. I'm like, bro, unless they drop the price 40K, it ain't gonna work, okay? I hope that this is helping you save so much time, energy, and understanding your true customer who is the investor because once you know that that's like like chick-fil-a uh, let's say you're gonna open a, sal a, a salon a day spa right are you just gonna go down the street open up a day spa and not know anything about it not know anything about your customer no hey i'm in tallahassee i'm in this part of tallahassee how many women are in this area how many men are in this area how many people are in this little community that are be closest to me before i hit the next salon because they have a sphere of influence there. I have mine, okay, I can do this, I can do this. And they figure out what their customer wants before they go spend two million to open up the shop, okay? Banks, what do they make you do? Let me see your business plan. They ain't stupid. It doesn't even make sense to me to give you a million dollars to fulfill your dreams that you did no research on. <laughs> I'm being honest with y'all. Guys, know your customer, know your seller, know your investor, and you're gonna do great. So. Now that you guys know this, you know how to find a cash buyer. You know to ask them for their buying criteria, right? Send me your buying criteria. If it updates, if it changes, let me know. How do you present the deal to them, right? A little package. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. If you guys want the slideshow, let me know. Okay, I'll send it to you. Um, which deals are your <laughs> investor will buy? I don't want you guys focusing on deals that nobody will buy from you doesn't make sense and it, 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 it pains me to see people do that so do you guys feel like more confident now that okay I know the end goal I know the in order to sell this for cash I have to satisfy this guy and he helps me figure out my number to go to the seller with does that make sense yeah. okay great so I, I don't I don't quite don't have much time left and that's cool yeah. so guys like I hope I hope this helped you I hope it, it opened your eyes a little bit I only scratched the surface of this thing. Like, literally the wholesaling part, there's like three parts to it. The other two I kind of already spoke about, and today is the kind of the tail end of it. But, like, I think Mark nailed it on the head. Like, you can't learn in 60 minutes, in two hours, everything about a craft. You guys go to school for four years, six years, some of you eight years for your doctorate. Like, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes grind, you're gonna make mistakes, but you have to take a step, okay? So, um, We've only scratched the surface, but today, Mark talked about like I have an online course and I do some other things. I, I, I put together a package for 10. And I've never done this before. I've never, never done this before, but I, I wanna share this with you guys. Is that cool? Can I share it with you for a minute? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so I put a, I have an online training course. I do coaching, I do inner circle stuff. I, I do all this different stuff. And I put this package together for you guys that I have an inner circle membership. And if you think tonight, if you like, oh my gosh, man, this, this, this makes total sense, it helped me. I normally charge $29.99, it's a private group, only people that pay can get in, and it's like-minded people. You heard Mark talk about like community. It's people that are doing deals, swapping deals. Hey, what about this? Hey, I'm in Tallahassee, is there a different contract than Jacksonville or South Florida? Yeah, yeah, hey, can you shoot that over to me? We're having conversations, right? I'm posting videos and training stuff on there that I don't even post on my social media, okay? But these are the people that are in. They're like, man, I, I'm all in. I'm gonna keep getting information. I included that in this special package. What else we got, Kelsey? 
the renovation sheet. I created this thing. It took me about six to seven years to actually fine tune this renovation sheet. And what I mean by that is, well, Paul, how do you get so accurate on your renovation numbers? Because as an investor, if I'm off, that's all profit. If I'm like, hey, it's 40K and I'm at 48K, that 8K came out of my pocket, right? That's out of my, that's out of my 20% profit margin. So I had to get very, very good. And I look at a couple hundred houses a year. So I had to get very good at it. And I'd, I'd do this, I'd do this, and I'd write it down, I'd write it down. I'm like, oh man, did that thing have a well? Crap, I forgot. <laughs> or I bought it and it didn't have a well and I was like, oh my gosh, I should have known it wasn't a well. So I added that to my sheet. So I literally created a renovation sheet that helps you accurately go through and figure out what your renovation numbers is. Is that, is that important for a wholesaler? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> because when that investor says, how much renovation is it? I mean, you can play possum for a little bit, but if you get a good investor, he's gonna say, send me your numbers. You know what you can do? You take that renovation sheet, I do it all the time, and I send it to him. And he might go, okay, they're charging me 10 grand for a roof. I know a roofer, I could do it for eight. Oh, okay. I just saved 2K. Yeah. AC, 2011, I think I can make that work and resell it. Like, you're saving money, you're showing your, you have the mindset to do deals with them. Like when you find a wholesaler that's good, it's like, oh, me and you. Let me tell you, this guy in Georgia, you know how he got me? He hit me up on Facebook and was like, hey man, I see all the deals you're doing, you're crushing it. I wanna live in Tampa. I mean, I wanna live in Tallahassee. And uh, I, I just can't get down there. I need the money to move. My wife has a job and she would transfer a job, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then like a couple days later, I run into him. It was weird. I ran into him at Starbucks, and he's like, hey man, uh, remember me from Facebook? And I'm like, bro, really? <laughs> man, Those are all my real friends. He's like, Matt, Matt, remember me? And I'm like, yep. Matt, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm trying to still play, so I'm like, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we start talking for a little bit, and comes over, and. He's like, hey man, can I get a picture of me and you together? And I'm like, oh, he's got working it good. That's a good wholesaler right here, right? Shakes my hand. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh, he's good. He's good. That's gotta be mad. <laughs> when you understand an investor, it changes everything. When you understand customer service, it changes everything. Look at McDonald's versus Chick fil A, it changes everything. If they can get me through that line, I don't even care if their food was worse, I'd probably go because I'm in a rush all the time. Three days later, I get a letter in the mail, and I open it, I'm like, hey, know that name again, man, this guy's stalking me or something. I'm laughing, I walk in, she's like, what are you doing? I open it up, and it's a picture of me and him shaking hands. And on the back of it, he said, I can't wait to do a bunch of deals with you this year. Aw, that's so sweet. Yeah, my bank account shows it's very sweet. <laughs> do you think he knew how to stand out in the crowd? Yeah. Do you think he knew how to set himself apart from everybody else? Yeah. Do you think he has the okay to call me whenever he wants and we can have a conversation about how I can help him and he can help me? Yeah. And there was four chocolates, like specialty chocolates, so he knew how to get to my wife. <laughs> and I didn't get one of those stinking chocolates. Okay? But do you see the difference? He didn't go after the deal. He's like, let me meet this investor. Let me see what he wants. Let me make sure I can satisfy this. And the deals will always come. There's always deals out there, guys. But if you can lock in a couple cash buyers in your pocket, you're golden, okay? That's how I met him. Uh, one hour private coaching session with me is included in this package. So you're not just getting the inner circle, you're not just getting a renovation sheet that helps you whether you're a wholesaler or your investor. I mean, it's laid out for you guys like, how many square foot times this dollar amount equals this for your, your flooring? You have paint, average flooring. I mean, average paint should cost you this much in labor and this much materials times how many square foot times it. And, it, and it's built out for you, okay? So you're not just getting it. You're gonna get a one hour private coaching session with me, okay? I have multiple people already doing it. Meaning, hey, Paul, I need your help right now. I got this deal, does it make sense? Let me show you something. Hey, I got this, walk me through. And, I'm, and I, I can easily pinpoint and point out stuff. I'm like, hey, have you thought about this? Oh my gosh, man, I didn't even think about that. And it's either a good or a bad. I mean, literally I had a girl from Orlando do a coaching session last week, sent us all the numbers and she's like, I'm getting ready to buy this thing, auction in two hours. I'm like, you're just calling me now? I'm like, are you kidding me? They had the square footage wrong on the listing by 400 square foot. I saved her 38 grand with a phone call. 
and it didn't last an hour, okay? Kelsey and I, our team, we dug into the deal. We dug into this. This doesn't make sense. Send me the layout again. No, the realtor's wrong. Like, look at property appraiser. Does it look like this? Look at this square foot. Sure enough, she didn't buy the deal. She would have been in the hole. And it was one of her first many of deals. So, guys, the private coaching, you call me up, you need help. I'm a wholesaler, I'm an investor, I'm whatever. Boom, help me out. Online training course. I have an online training course that it doesn't matter if you're a wholesaler, a flipper, whatever. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're not an expert in it, if you haven't done a whole bunch of deals, you need to get this thing, okay? It walks you through day one, do I set up an LLC? A lot of people are like, well, I'll just do it, do it for myself for now. Okay, you're not gonna set up your LLC, how do you put a contract on something? You put it in your personal name? <laughs> now that becomes a, a liability to your personal finances if something happens at house. You got the roofer up on the roof checking it out, he falls off, who do you think he's coming to? Okay, simple stuff, guys. So in this online training course, I walk you through every single thing. How do you find deals? How do you find funding for deals? How do you uh, do a renovation? Like I'm up on a roof with a roofing company going, all right guys, now we're gonna inspect this roof together on video for 40 minutes. I'm inside a house, walking through an entire house going, okay guys, you got your renovation sheet with you? Let's do this together. And I walk through with my designer. I walk through with my GC and my superintendent and say, let's do this together. And you guys see every single thing we're doing. <laughs> Everything. Same thing on the exterior. I walk through every single, how do you find deals? How do you make money? How do you reinvest? How do you do more deals? How do you get growth? All of that's in that course. So you're not just getting the inner circle. You're not just getting renovation sheet. You're not just getting one hour of private coaching. You're getting all of that included in the online training course. And, and guys, I, I'm, this is like $2,500, $2,600. And, and I'm not charging that today. I love Tim. I love Mark and Camille to death. I, I think what you said, you couldn't have said it any better. They're, they give back. They it's a community. That's why I'm here. I've been here for a while. I'm one of their sponsors. Like, I, I believe in it. Community is how you do deals. I was meeting you at auctions last week trying to steal my money. Okay, that's cool. It doesn't matter. We're a team. He'll find a deal. He'll send it to me. I'll find a deal. Send it to him. Showed up one of the houses I was looking at. Hey, mate, did you see this? you see that? Oh, we just helped each other out. Okay? We're, we're all a team. So today, I want to offer you guys this course. But before I do, do you think if you did one deal this year, that course would be worth it? Yeah. If you did one wholesale deal and you made 5K, would it be worth it? I mean, some of you guys are like looking at me like deer in the headlights. I'm like, 2,500 and you make 5K, you doubled your profit. I mean, sorry, I'm, a, I'm an investor. Mark's over here like this. Okay, would it be worth it? Yeah, it'd yeah. be worth it. If, if you bought this course and you did five deals this year, you've never done any, you do five, would it be worth it? Yeah. You make 25k, and I tell you, out of one of those five, you can probably get a, a better, a lot, a lot better return than 5k, probably 10 or 15. If you bought this course and you hate your job, you're fighting with your spouse about money, you go on vacation, you have to put it on a credit card, you have credit card debt, would you buy this course for financial freedom? Yes. yes. Pay your school loans to do whatever. I'm just, I'm just asking. So today I'm gonna to offer all of this for $997, okay? $997, you get all of that included for one price and that's it. Because I know, like literally the guys, do we have pictures of the guys? My mentors and stuff? Oh coaches? yeah, we skipped that. We skipped that, Kelsey skipped right over it. <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm big on, can you put it up? I'm big on like paying for speed paying to learn stuff. Warren Buffett says, the quicker you learn, the less steps you, you fall, right? So if you can learn faster, you can innovate faster, you can change faster. If I can learn, like, why did I meet with that coach in the very beginning? He already made all the mistakes. I don't wanna make those mistakes. So if I could just hang out with him and learn and do this, why wouldn't you do it? You hear them talking about training and look at YouTube and look at all these different things and keep learning and keep going to events and keep going to conferences, keep showing up here, why? Because you're learning, you're picking up some tools. Right? These are some of the guys I hang out with. You guys know Brendan Bouchard? Anybody? I you do? Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, y'all know Oprah. <laughs> Big ears. I know her too. No, I don't. We're not, we're not like that. I'm waiting for her to go. What else? Number one of the most, most influential leaders in the field of personal growth in the world. Okay? Why do I hang out with him? He makes me better. 
He challenges me. He pulls me up further. He's been where I'm at. He's like, Paul, you want a 10 extra company? You want a 20 extra company? You got to do this. What about this? Have you thought about this? I'm like, I don't want to learn from somebody doing it at the same level as me or lower. Hey, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. And if that, if Mojo Dollar doesn't work, I'm going to get on Facebook and maybe somebody else has a better idea. No, you want to excel fast. You want to learn fast because if you do, you do more deals in a year. It comes down to that. You, who knows this guy? Dean, okay. If you know anything about real estate, you've been in it for a while. Dean is, he hit over a billion dollars two years ago. Dean did. Okay. Graziosi. I, I don't hang out and learn from these guys because I want to, because I want to go, well, I do want to. <laughs> Take that back. But I, I fly out and I see these guys. Why? Because they coach me, they mentor me, they help me go to the next level. If you guys don't know any, this guy, up, next, go ahead, babe. The guy on the left, wholesaler. You guys, anybody know who he is? You. No. <laughs> well, not, yeah, that, not that. The guy next to me. You said on the left. That, that guy's Cody, and he's crushing, he's in two states wholesaling. He's doing over 700 deals a year. What was he doing three years ago? Worked for somebody else. It's possible. You guys just have to like let your guard down, trust the process, do a process, I don't care what process it is, and take a step and you guys can be successful. Oh, Kelsey threw that money picture in the middle. I had that money for like five minutes. I pulled in the house. So, Paul, can I get that money? But on, on a serious note, guys, I hope that this helped you. If I can help you in the future, I'm here. If you guys are interested in this package that you get all of these things for $997, Kelsey, I, we're gonna be out here with some help and we're gonna sign you up for it right now. But I'm telling you right now, it's only tonight. I've already talked, Mark, it's tonight, that's it. So as soon as you leave, if you wanted to go buy my course tomorrow, it's $1,997 by itself. No coaching, no inner circle, no nothing. I just, I, I truly believe in this group. I truly love this group. I think everybody in it's amazing. Yes, you're amazing too. Um, Take a step, take action. You guys have two choices when you leave the room, okay? What, the first choice is what? You walk out, you don't take any action. You don't talk to anybody. You don't get anybody's phone numbers. You don't network. And what are you gonna do? The same thing you did last week, and the same thing you did last month, and the same thing you did in 2019. History repeats itself. You can't expect different results. That's the definition of insanity, okay? The second option is, you go out there and you take action and you say, I'm going to control my own destiny. Maybe your dream is I don't want to work for this company in the next year. How do you do that? you got to bring passive income in. You have to bring income in somehow. Well, how do you do that? That's the way you do it. So two options, leave the same as you came here. Nothing changes. You're the same wholesaler. It's going to be sitting in here in six months. Be, oh, I almost did it, Paul. I almost got a deal. Or you can take action outside, sign up for it tonight. Guys, go, yeah. Three ways that you can do this. You can fill out this form. Kelsey will have it out back. I mean, out on the side here. Um, you can actually do it on your phones right now. Mobile app. Go to Flippin' Experts, click on the tab, buy now, and it's done. It's rolling. You got it. Password's coming in. You, you start training. Okay? It's a 40-day course. I'm telling you, you can start cranking deals in the first week. I have, I have students that are already doing it. The third, way, <coughs> the third thing I like, and I just found this out, PayPal credit. You know how many people are like, oh, I'm in college, I have 500. If I had, I have 990. If I had 997, I'd buy it, Paul. Ain't no more excuses, guys. PayPal credit, I just found out about it. They will finance this for you. No interest, no payments for six months. That's like the craziest thing I've ever heard of. I'm gonna lend you my money so you can buy 